Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel! Today, I'm gonna read my favorite book. Ozzy and Mac Written by Tris Huland Illustrated oh, il and Illustrated by Dan Krall Let's play tag. <laughs> Ozzy Otter broke a rule when he brought his pet to school and the pack on Ozzy's back sat a little bug named Mac. Not one sound, do not forget, Ozzy said to Mac his pet. You'll go home if teacher sees. Stay inside and don't move, please. But that speedy bug jumped out onto Foster Fox's snout. Foster whispered, catch him quick, or I think I may be sick. Ozzy, Ozzy reached, but Mac hopped over onto Silby Squirrel's shoulder. Silby said, the bug is here, hiding right behind my Ear. Mrs. Bunny turned around. No more noise. Please sit back down. Time to sing our ABCs. Then we'll count our one, two, three. Ozzy Foster, Sylvie too, did not know quite what to do. So they sang out loud and strong. On the floor, Mac danced along. Ozzy tried a chuckle then. Mac just bounced away again. Next, he leaped up on a shelf. Mac would not behave himself. Mac turned cat wheels way up high. This is trouble, Ozzy sighed. Mac flew out across the room. Then there came a great big boom. Paper fluttered in the air. Books and pages everywhere. Eek, tweeted teacher. Teacher, what is that? Mac is who she pointed at. This is Mac. He loves to play. He'll be good. Please let him stay. Teacher said, you know the rule. You may not bring cats to school. A plan was needed. Ozzy knew. Watching Mac. He found a clue. I can read this book to you. That is something I can do. Students listen like they should. Teacher so Mac could be good. Mrs. Bunny scratched her head, top her foot, and then he said, I will change that silly rule. Silly rule. You may all bring pets to school. Ozzy Otter shouted, Yay! Teacher says that Mac can stay. In the morning, pets came too. How the story circle grew. On the top of teacher's head sat a little bug named Ned. All the students laughed out loud. Mrs. Bunny being so proud. Mom, I think it's done. I think it's not yet. <laughs> 
So bye. Do you like this book? This book is so nice. You can practice with it. Ozzy Otter broke a rule when he brought his pet to school. In the pack on Ozzy's back sat a little bug named Mac. Not one sound, do not forget. Ozzy said to Mac his pet, You'll go home if teacher sees. Stay inside and don't move, please. See? But that speedy bug jumped out onto Foster Fox's snout. Foster whispered, catch him quick, or I think I may be sick. Ozzy, Ozzy reach, but Mac hop over onto Sylvie Squirrel's shoulder. Sylvie said, the bug is here, hiding right behind my ear. Mrs. Bunny turned around. No more noise. Please sit back down. Time to sing our ABCs. Then we'll count our one, two, three. Ozzy Foster, Sylvie too, did not know quite what to do. So they sang out loud and strong. On the floor, Mac danced along. Ozzy tried a tackle then. Mac just bounced away again. Next, he leaped up on a shelf. Muck would not behave in soap. Muck turned cutwheels way up high. This is trouble, Ozzy sighed. Muck flew out across the room. Then there came a great big boom. Paper fluttered in the air books and pages everywhere eek tweeted teacher teacher what is that mac is who she pointed at this is mac he loves to play he'll be good please let him stay Teacher said, you know the rule. You may not bring pets to school. A plan was needed. Ozzy knew. Watching Mac, he found a clue. I can read this book to you. That is something I can do. Students listen like they should. Teacher so Mac could be good. Mrs. Bunny scratched her head, tapped her foot, and then she said, I will change that silly rule. Silly rule. You may all bring pets to school. Ozzy Otter shouted, Yay! Teacher says, that Mac can't stay. In the morning, pets came too. How the story circle grew. On the top of teacher's head sat a little bug named Ned. All the students laughed out loud. Mrs. Bunny being so proud. That's all for the day. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.